What's up everybody, this is Ven bringing you another mock spotlight where we take apart what you build and for today's episode we'll be taking a look at three different mocks, two of which are from another collaborative project between Cheesy Q, Jack Frost, and several others. And since this project involves so many different creations by so many different creators, for now we'll just be focusing on two. And then we're also going to be taking a look at Garstang by Hayfinks. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and start talking about this Rahi project, starting with the Hydruka by Cheesy Q. Now much like the other models in the project, the Hydruka is a reimagined design for the Hydruka of Bionicle, which is one example of the many Rahi species that you would find in Bionicle. Now obviously the new Hydruka is a very different take. We ditched the Rakshi head and the very basic Technic build. Heck, we've basically ditched all the Bionicle parts, and instead we have a completely original model that utilizes Exoforce arms, tiny spike pieces, these giant red shoulder armor pieces, to create a more crab-like creature with a scorpion tail of sorts, which is vaguely reminiscent of the original tail, but all in all the design is a huge deviation. And I like it, I like it a lot. It fits the whole aquatic aesthetic much better than the originals did. And I really do appreciate the smaller size because I feel like it makes more sense for the lore in which the Hydruka were domesticated. And I don't know, I just feel like I can envision these being pets for the Matoran a lot easier than the original. It reminds me of a little aquatic bulldog. It's so small and cute and ferocious looking. And even though the build comes off as a little bit simplistic, I gotta say, it looks really impressive. It looks as though there had to have been a good bit of thought put into how to fit these armor pieces onto such a small body. The only criticism I'd make about this model is that it doesn't look too reminiscent of the original. I mean, it doesn't bother me too much. I totally get it. It's an original piece. It's a, it's a total reimagination. I just think it would have been cool to see some other characteristics of the original incorporated somehow, just so it comes off a bit more familiar, but that's okay, it's still fine. Moving on to the Tarkava by Jack Frost, we have a very familiar yet still creative take on the original model, most notably in the face and the color scheme, and even the arms to some degree, where the original had these long, lanky arms with these uh, balled up fists, I guess you could say, at the end of them. The new one offers long, lanky arms with these giant, clawed hands at the end, which I think is a pretty clever compromise. The body shape overall is radically different from the original. We're sacrificing that long, awkward, elongated torso that only moves on treads for a much shorter, yet more animated looking mechanical body with actual legs. Legs that still maintain that classic Bionicle aesthetic, using clawed feet and these giant Technic parts with greeble and pistons and whatnot. But of course, the best part about this design is just how well the head translates into it. Like, I can look at the head and instantly recognize, hey, this looks like a Tarakava. It's got the same shaping, the same, almost the same design, really. Like, aside from a couple differences in the colors and whatnot. And all of these design choices make for a much more natural and more creature-like design as opposed to the original which obviously looked like a kid's toy. Having this obvious punching mechanism and rolling on treads. But enough of the comparisons. On its own, the new Tarkava looks pretty cool. I like this long spine it has, I like the clawed hands and feet, I like the face, and most of all I really like that it still looks very Bionicle. Kinda hard not to when most of the mock uses all these old Bionicle and Technic parts, of course, but I just think the builder pulled it off so well, aside from just basic aesthetics and textures. Now as I mentioned earlier, there are of course many other mocks involved in this Rahi project, and you can find them all in the links in the description below, so definitely check those out, because I'm, I'm honestly just so happy to see another collaborative project come out of the community, and I hope to see more like this in the future. Now moving on to the last mock we're going to look at today, which is Garstang by Hayfinks. I, I could not pass up spotlighting it. I was caught between doing this or the Rahi and I decided to just do both because, well why not, they're both awesome. But this is great because what we have here is like Bionicle meets 80s or 90s action movie with a sort of Blade Runner aesthetic. Like Garstang here has basically everything you need for all the above. He's got the trench coat, he's got the giant gun, the robotic features, the big old bike. Where did he get that trench coat? That's so good looking. Well actually it looks like a leather jacket, but it kind of looks like a trench coat. 
with the way that the collar kind of pops up around the neck. Or maybe it's both, maybe he's just that cool, he has a leather trench coat. Either way, the dude looks like he's on a mission. But even without the leather trench coat, Garstang still looks pretty good on his own. The build looks pretty smooth, the proportions are all nice and natural, he's got a very heroic stance. That gun is really well designed. Like, it's kinda simple, but it's still very unique, and fits very well with the rest of the mock. And then the motorbike, that motorbike though, that looks clean. It's got a slick black sheen to it. It almost doesn't look like it's made out of Lego parts. Like, this looks really well built. No gaps, no unnecessary greeble, and it's just the perfect size for Garstang. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's just the right size. And when you see it all together, it looks so wholesome. Like, not gonna lie, I kinda want one. So where do I have to go to pick up one of those leather trench coats? I guess I'm gonna have to figure that out later, but anyway, that's it for today's Mock Spotlight. Congratulations and thank you to Hey Fanks, Jack Frost, and Cheesy Q for creating such awesome mocks and sharing them with us on the message boards. I look forward to seeing more out of you guys, and I encourage everybody else, if you haven't already, please post your own creations to the message boards at board.ttvchannel.com, because by doing so, you are guaranteeing that you have a chance at becoming featured on the mock spotlight, and it doesn't have to be big, or bold, or super complex, no, it can be whatever you want, so long as you put your all into it. So until then, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.